Um, let's move on. I want to talk to Alda in South Carolina. Alda, you're live on Skeptic Generation. Hello, Eric. It is wonderful to see your beautiful face. Oh, you liar. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you for calling. I do not lie. I appreciate all forms of beauty, oh. including the loud dog that is next door. Come on, man. I, I just wanted to have a conversation. You know what? I'm, I, I, I'm, I'll agree with that. I think I'm beautiful in the same way the loud dog is. Um, <laughs> oh. What did you want to talk about? Today? Now I'm going to migrate away from the loud dog so you don't hear him. I, um, I know the podcast listeners really appreciate that. I'm going to try to stay away from the actual YouTube channel that is playing for my husband. Um, I was curious what modern philosophy books you had that you would recommend. Because don't get me wrong. I love my Plato. I love my Socrates. I love my Voltaire and all my old white dead men. Yeah. But I also love my newer white dead men like Terry Pratchett and... <laughs> Tolkien and, um, you know, then there's Frederick Douglass. Like, yeah, you know, what do you recommend for more modern? Um, uh, so yeah, by by ancient Greek standards, I think Bertrand Russell is pretty pretty modern. Um, so if you haven't checked out Bertrand Russell, definitely do. Um, I think that um, um, Daniel Dennett Ooh. is pretty damn interesting um, and is pretty recent. Um, I'm currently working on a book um, about Aztec philosophy. You know, a Ooh. yeah, right. Absent all of you know the kind of ways that we think about it. And I'm not far enough into it to give you any nuanced takes. But once I get there, I'm definitely going to talk about it more. Um, and then generally, I carry uh, like the myth of Sisyphus and um, also ph the philosophy of mathematics. I've got them on my shelf right now, um, just kind of wherever I go, because they're both so dense that you know, rereading and, and kind of going over it bit by bit helps me um, kind of take in the information better. But maybe that's a good starting place. What do you think? Yeah, that, that sounds fantastic and chunky, and I like it. <laughs> good, good. Um, I, I, have, I have never met a book that I'm afraid of unless there's multiple translations and no English, in which case then I get annoyed because I have to go find a from whatever language to English, and I know I'm losing stuff. Oh, that so that's exactly how I feel about the myth of Sisyphus. People go, oh my gosh, well, it's so much. Well, yeah, it was written in French, and not even modern French. <laughs> like, of course it's going to be difficult, yes. because that's not, a, you're absolutely right. Um, there are other books by people who are still alive who have disappointed me, and so I'm hesitant to, to recommend them. But when it comes to just material, um, I think I learned more about um, kind of the, the response to the, the watchmaker argument and about evolutionary biology than I did by uh, the blind watchmaker by um, Dawkins. Not a fan of Dawkins as a oh. Not a fan of Dawkins as a person, but the blind watchmaker was really, really great in kind of shifting my understanding about evolutionary biology because that is actually his profession. And so, correct. Yeah. Um, similarly, and unfortunately, just go ahead. Just because he's an asshole doesn't I know, mean that I know. he didn't get something right once. Right, and and the same same is true, uh, regrettably, when it comes to mathematics and and Steven Pinker. A universe, Ooh. yeah, I know, but a universe from nothing really did help me. And I think that me taking what was beneficial from that book and then not offering that to other people as kind of, hey, this is what helped me is unfair too. So I'm in a really weird, icky position there, but I can't say that it didn't help me because it did. I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, because like, you know, I like to look back at, uh, I've been rereading lots of uh, ancient myths 
okay. and going through the different cultures and going, huh, how can I relate this to things that I'm experiencing today? Because uh, PBS Stories has an awesome YouTube channel where they show ancient myths and they talk about like why we why we created these myths to begin with, mm-hmm. and then what would we do with them today? I mean, we 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 are doing that in a way. If you think about like the MCU, exactly. So I mean, you know, you had because you know for the the my favorite meme from that is. You had Steve Rogers, who met multiple gods and is still Christian. Yeah, what then you have that about? Uh, you have uh, uh, Bruce Banner, atheist, met multiple gods, still an atheist. That's just dumb. I, <laughs> I so one of the things that drives me nuts. I love playing D anD D, and I haven't in a while. But what drove me Ooh. when I was really involved in like atheist circles is pe- playing with people who are just like my character is an atheist. I'm like you. You're playing in a world where gods are very, very much real, you know? <laughs> um, so why would you, I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting. It is very, very interesting. Um, but yeah, um, I'm sorry. I have lost the train there. Um, it's okay. The train derailed. <laughs> Do you still love the Chupacabra as your uh, favorite uh, cryptid? Hmm. Or has um, it shifted to Sasquatch or Nessie? I definitely have to put down the chupacabra. I feel like I feel like people stick me with that. Um but you know what I actually didn't know a lot about was the not deer. And <gasps> it, they're so fantastic and horrifying. The what's really interesting is the actual reason why you know, those kinds of things happen. Um, and it's not less horrifying, actually. But mm-hmm. it, I, I think that's my favorite cryptid right now. Anyway. Excellent. Maybe I'll have to crochet you a knot beard. No, please don't. I don't. I Something nice, maybe. Not not a knot. Something nice? Yeah, not a knot, dear. Okay. I, I don't want to be creeped out by that. Uh, that would. No, thanks. Well, maybe I would. I don't know. I trust you. Alda, I trust you. <laughs> I'd give him big googly eyes. Okay, maybe. Um, and you could shake him at, at things when they're not being what they should be. That's really sweet of you. Um, Alda, thank you for calling in. I, I don't know if I was useful at all in this conversation, but this was fun. You were highly useful. My husband has written down all the books. And okay. after this, I will be going to attempt to crochet an angry screaming possum. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. What a sweetheart.